Here we give you a brief idea on how to search for scientific articles. So no matter what search engine you use, going through and finding good scientific articles can be a little bit of a challenge or a daunting task, at least initially, which I think you'll find it's actually quite easy. So first off, uh, I suggest starting with Google Scholar. So go right into Google, type in uh, Google Scholar, and then use that subset search engine. Uh, you simply type Google Scholar in, and it comes, should come right up. The reason why I like you starting with this is it's a great user-friendly search engine that's also free. Uh, and it gives a very powerful tool uh, to at least find some of the articles that are out there. Sadly, it will find many articles that you have to pay for. Uh, so as a result, once you find that article's name and title, and while you might have full access to it, if you are at a university, uh, university libraries typically have access to a lot of those for free. This is often an underutilized resource by students. It's a great resource, but often can be a challenge with the actual search, search aspect. So that's why I like Google Scholar, because it'll give you the title, the author, some dates, uh, more powerful tools that you can use to pinpoint and find the exact article. And if you do find that information via another search engine, it can really improve the efficiency of a university-based library, because you have access to so many. On the rare case that you can't find it, uh, but you want to full access to it, if you do email the library, in a lot of cases, they might be able to get the article or search it for you. So again, just things to keep into consideration, uh, because having access and knowing where to find scientific research uh, can be a very powerful tool, not only in your undergraduate and graduate career, but just in general to be able to read uh, really detailed and current resource and information about topics uh, that allow you to develop a good interest in, to get up some materials and methods, and looking at the other sources that they use can really expand your knowledge on any particular subject.